Hi guys, welcome yet to another exciting video. My name is Adriana and this is my life in the beautiful mountain kingdom of Lesotho. Now a few weeks ago I posted a video talking about chitting or sprouting your potatoes prior to planting them just to give them a bit of a head start so that by the time you plant them they will come up much quicker. So I have seed potatoes that have already sprouted here and today I'm going to be planting those. Now as you can see I have these beautiful potato plants already in front of me here that I planted about a month ago and today I'm also going to be healing these and I'll be showing you exactly how I do that. So please stick around until the end of the video and I hope you enjoy it. So in order to get started, I'm gonna need some good soil to get these potatoes started. Potatoes grow well in nice, loose, rich, very well balanced soil with good drainage. So today I'm gonna be using compost so let's head over to our compost heap to get some good soil in order to get these potatoes growing. So guys, this is what our compost pile looks like. And as you can see, there's stuff like kitchen scraps and some grass clippings. So right now, what I gotta do is I have to remove all the stuff at the top that hasn't yet decomposed. And I'm gonna move it to this other side to get a new compost heap going. And after removing the stuff that was at the top, this is what our heap looks like. Ah, that's just a, a bamboo tree that spread into our compost <laughs> from the bamboo back there. And um, this is what our soil is looking like. Look at that. It's just alive and it's beautiful, beautiful soil, rich in organic matter. So I'm just going to scoop up some of this and then head to the greenhouse where I'm going to start planting the potatoes. guys I folded my bags prior to fetching the compost and I just made two large folds and folded it down to the ideal size that I need for now and I will unfold the bag later on as I heal the potatoes so I'm just gonna start first by putting some soil into the bags I put about 10 centimeters of soil in height and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up all these bags before I get to planting the potato. I just want to add that this is an ideal alternative method to growing potatoes at home especially if you don't have much space available in your yard to have an actual garden and this is also a great way to avoid the hassle of having potatoes regrowing in your garden year after 
year because that's one thing with potatoes if you grow them once in one spot you are less likely to harvest all of them and get them all out of the ground during harvest and they'll just keep on regrowing on that spot year after year so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish filling up these bags with the soil and then we're gonna get down to planting the spuds. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant the potatoes. So I'm just gonna stick one in the middle of each bag. You can plant up to two or three potatoes per bag. That just depends on the size of your bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one in the middle of each bag. I'm gonna be growing these potatoes organically but just for the purpose of demonstrating later on in the season after harvest the difference between organic and inorganic potatoes I'm just gonna add the recommended rate of fertilizer to this one bag and I'm gonna be fertilizing it with chemical fertilizers throughout the growing season and in the other bags I'll be using just organic fertilizers so if you'd like to see the end results of this please subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell and at this stage I'm just gonna go ahead and cover the seed potatoes with a bit of soil so I'll go ahead and cover all of them and afterwards I need to give them a good watering and after a month they should have grown to the size of these potatoes that you see right here that I started growing at the beginning of August. Today is actually August 31st so they've made good progress in terms of growth and it's now time to heal them. Now in a garden Potatoes are healed by adding mounds of soil to the sides of the potatoes but with container growing you heal them by just adding soil into your bag or, or container as they grow just like I'm doing in the video. Be sure to tuck in some soil even at the sides right there just like I'm doing in the video and you could always keep on unfolding the bag as you add more soil. The amount of healing that you need to do on your potatoes will be determined by the type, the variety of potatoes that you have grown. Now this is a determinate potato that I've grown here and they don't require as much healing as indeterminate types because they will only produce one layer of tubers right at the very bottom of the plants and therefore healing them only once will be enough therefore the amount of healing that I'll be doing today will be enough for this particular type of potatoes now when it comes to the indeterminate type of potatoes you may find that you have to continuously heal the plants as they grow up until you've unfolded the entire sack because what happens with indeterminate types of potatoes is that they will continue to produce more lateral layers of tubers along the vine as it grows therefore you might want to heal your potatoes until your entire bag is full of soil in order to maximize the potential yield of your plant I hope that makes sense guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish healing these potatoes and then after that I'm gonna give them a good watering 
and this is where i'm gonna end today's video you guys thank you so much for watching please remember to like the video comment and share it with your friends and family and if you aren't already subscribed please join my youtube family by subscribing and smash the notification bell too bye